you net. No, I'll grab him. I think I'll be up to grab him, Larry. Hey, folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. And in my opinion, we are in one of the top sport fishing destinations in the country. It's the Buffalo Niagara area. I'm fishing with Frank Campbell of Niagara Charters, along with Bill Hiltz of Niagara Tourism. And we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna show you the various species and talk a little bit about the area that Buffalo is. We'll release this guy and go catch a couple more, right Frank? Absolutely, Larry. Look at how clear that water is. Whoa. Right under the boat here. I felt a couple taps, and it felt kind of small, but now he's looking pretty neat. Look at that, he's gonna jump in the boat, Frank. <laughs> Beautiful little smolly. Yep. And we've been coming here for the last, oh, six, seven years, Frank, and I tell you, I, I love this place. I mean, you got so much of a fishery that you can fish so many different species. Tell us a little bit about the area a little bit. I mean, you have, what we're fishing today is considered the lower Niagara River. We're below Niagara Falls, so we're not gonna go over to Falls today, Larry. Um, we have about a seven mile stretch from Lewiston all the way down to Fort Niagara. And if it's in the uh, fresh water, it's swimming in this river pretty much. Oh, musky. Oh, big musky. Oh, there's a big musky big following musky. it up. Hey, come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Did musky. you see that? That yeah. was a hog. That was big. Fish on? You got that musky? No. This <laughs> guarantee is not the musky. All we're using today is swim baits. We've got a quarter ounce swim bait jig, little swim bait action tail, casting it up there and really letting the, the current work. We're just holding it, keeping it steady, jigging it off the bottom, and they're just hitting it. Oh, yeah! Okay. Wait, let me get my line out of the way, Bill. So, Bill, it, in addition to the great sport fishery that Buffalo Niagara area is, what other activities do you have around here? Well, we do have a little thing called Niagara Falls. No? Yeah? And that has a tendency <laughs> to attract a few people. But I'd like to think fishing is number one. In addition to that, you know, I think you've noticed some of the bird life here in the Niagara River Corridor. And, and actually, the Niagara River Corridor is internationally recognized as an important bird area. Huh. But right at the mouth of the river on the Niagara Bar is Fort Niagara. And very historic landmark. There's a lot of history in the area here, like the Erie Barge Canal, for instance. The Erie Barge Canal travels right through the middle of Niagara County, travels all the way across the state to the Hudson River and then down to New York City. And that Erie Barge Canal is now a, a recreational byway. The Niagara Wine Trail is one of the fastest growing wine trails in New York State. I think there's over 20 wineries now associated with the Niagara Wine Trail. Wow. And there's some breweries that are also popping up, some distilleries. So a lot of things to see and do. Our website, niagara-usa.com, is a great way to find out more information. Sign up on our Facebook. Not only do we have Facebook for the main tourism, but also for the fishing and outdoors. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate that. Excellent. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for coming to Niagara. We bet. We got one here. Keep Just a quick there, tap, tap. I don't know. Little steelhead. Oh, it's a nice oh, steelhead. It's, steel it's all wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just been drifting about a four mile stretch of the Niagara River and we've seen bass, a muskie, some white bass, a drum, and now a nice steelhead. Yep, we've caught I think five, five species Five species today. so far? Yeah. That ain't bad at all for four miles. No. That's, a, that's the diversity that we were talking about. And you can catch anything from this to a muskie and everything in between. It's just amazing. What a, what a terrific fishery. It is, and you want to know what, Larry? One of the neat things is we talked about warm water, cold water species, certain times of the year, they're mixing in right now. Yep. Just a thud. And you can see it's silver in the water, so it's not a bass. But we have no idea what it is. Drum roll, please. A big lake trout. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, come on, sweetie. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. He thought he was getting another minnow dinner, and Mr. Lerdowski yeah. proved different. <laughs> nice fish, Larry. Beauty. Nice thing about Lake Trout is they go back pretty well. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. <laughs> oh, my God. 
gosh, Frank, you're not going to believe this one. What do we have this time? We have time? species number seven <laughs> and something that I would not have believed oh, we would have caught today. <laughs> oh my. Add it to the potpourri, baby. <laughs> Folks, you talk about your variety. It's all here, right here in Buffalo, I tell you. Seven species, seven or eight, whatever <laughs> it happens to be at this point. But man, if you wanna come to Niagara, you can check out all of the things to do as we talked about earlier at niagara-usa.com. I also wanna thank this guy, <laughs> Mr. Frank Campbell of niagara-charter.com. Look him up. Come on up, take a trip, enjoy some fishing, enjoy the area, and have a great time. It's one of my favorite destinations. I'm Larry Ladowski from Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back, and I'll catch you later. Larry, while you're letting that go, we'll hook it up, baby. Seriously, folks, we're gonna let you guys go, but we're gonna catch more fish. <laughs> you wanna grab the net, Larry? You bet. That's a full-grown brown bass right there, buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs>